What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. Today for you, I'm bringing you a bathroom organization video. This is gonna be inside of all of our bathroom drawers in my master bedroom. I just did underneath inside all the cabinets. Oh, and I just, I'm so excited because now it's all done. But I'll be listing that video for you guys in the down bar below. I also did, I'm gonna be showing you today, besides my drawers, is my medicine cabinet. And I'm so excited with the way everything turned out. My husband opened his drawer because his was like a junk drawer. And he's like, oh my gosh, I love it. So I'm really happy. If you guys are into this sort of video, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you're notified every time I post a video. I do a lot of lifestyle, mommy, organization videos, and I would just love to have you guys. I'm gonna be listing everything I can find in the down bar including my website it has all my favorites in one place so if you guys want to see how I reorganize all of our bathroom drawers and our medicine cabinet then just keep watching All right, you guys, we are starting off inside of my medicine cabinet and it wasn't that bad, but I just didn't like it because things would fall on top of me whenever I grab something. So I already had this one top container, which I really like, and I put a second one in there. So it's pretty much staying basically the same, except for I'm adding a couple containers and I'm removing things that I don't really want and purging and getting rid of stuff. So it was very simple, but I'm glad that I reorganized everything. I just wanted to show you guys and remind you what my cabinets look like, how many I have. This is what my husband's drawer looks like before, and it is so bad. This is the drawer underneath that, and I'm gonna show you everything on my side as well. But basically when we moved here, we threw everything in the drawers. Yes, that's hair, it's hair extensions. <laughs> and they just got thrown in the drawer. This is gonna stay the same. This is pretty much gonna stay the same as well, but I'm going to, um, you know, just purge and clean and all that good stuff. This drawer is fine, except I need to get rid of stuff and I could barely open the drawer, so we have to move some things around. My hair stuff is gonna stay the same, but I'm also gonna purge a couple of items there. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull everything out. I'm even gonna, I'm not doing drawer by drawer, I'm literally just gonna do everything. I feel like everything's already out of order, all the categories are all mixed in together, so there's no point in me doing it drawer by drawer. If there was a, some sort of system, I would um, you know, leave it the same. So we're basically pulling everything out I have these little placemats I don't know if you guys can see those I'm cleaning everything but those placemats were from the dollar store and I like to stick those down there just to kind of keep the drawer clean it's a really cheap alternative so now I'm just going through this gigantic pile like do you guys see this it's so crazy so I'm mostly throwing a lot of this stuff away and anything that I can start organizing I'm putting them into like categories and just making sure everything has a home. But the benefits of that is you guys get to come with me room by room, area by area, and reorganize everything with me and find a home for things. So it's nice that we're finally getting settled in. It's taken us a year, but we're finally, you know, finding homes for things and making things look good and feel organized. So in the back here, my husband just has some, his gym band and um, his mouth guard. Then he has his shoe shine stuff and he has all of his, um, basically all his necessities in this top drawer. I'm gonna give you guys an official tour in just a little bit, but I made sure everything that he uses on a regular basis goes inside this drawer. And usually he's asking me, where's this, where's this? And I'm like, I don't know. So now everything has a place and he absolutely is so pumped about it. So next in this second drawer, this is going to be travel stuff. Now, I always buy all of these baggies. I love to have these on hand because I put my travel stuff inside of little Ziploc bags. That's my husband's travel bag. I have all of our toothbrushes, just everything that I could use for travel, which is so nice because we do travel a lot and I like to just have everything there. My husband's toothbrush travel holder, um, the Clarisonic case, everything is all nice and neat in this drawer. Now this bottom drawer is more designated for me and all of my travel stuff because your girl's got a lot of travel gear. So these are all my clear bags, everything I like to organize and I like switching it up often. So this is just my main bags that I like to switch back and forth. I have a huge collection of makeup bags, but this is mostly for toiletries and hair stuff. And those both bins have all of my travel hair products, which is shampoo, conditioner, hairspray, all that good stuff. So here's a little tour of inside my husband's drawer. He loves having all of his shoe shine stuff accessible. If you guys haven't tried this shoe cleaner, 
for tennis shoes. My husband said it is the most amazing. It's by Jason Mark. He said it's hands down the best one he's ever used. I also stick his sample perfume or cologne in this little bag just to keep it all together. He does like to use those. And you know, just toothbrush, toothpaste, contact stuff, um, eye drops, like he always asks for them. So I just figured I put his own in his own drawer. I have lighters in there. He always needs those as well. Okay. So in this drawer, like I said, this is all of our travel stuff. I wanted to show you guys these little baggies. I get a lot of them from the dollar store. Um, and I just like having all of our travel stuff super accessible. So this was very, very nice to have everything here. And all my little containers. And this is the bottom drawer. I love the way that it turned out. I just wanted to give you guys a little aerial shot, but I have my toothbrush travel container back here. I have my little stand-up caddy. I have a video on that I'll show you guys. Um, I'll put it in the down bar below of all my travel stuff and how I pack everything. This drawer is pretty much the same. I just have my hair ties, my scrunchies for sleeping, different clips, and all my hair brushes. This isn't all of them, but my daughter steals them, so this is what's left of them. Um, and then on the next drawer as well, it, it's basically exactly the same. I just added my little attachments to my toothbrush on the right-hand side. So this, this is the same little system that I already had and it was actually working, so it's just fine. And then in the top drawer, it's basically the same, except I got rid of a couple things and now I can actually close my drawer. But I have all of my shower caps, my headbands for washing my face, my favorite Shiseido, um, cotton squares, I have my trimmer attachments, contacts, I have my different toothbrush uh, toothbrushes, toothpaste, and then on the bottom little area here, I have my lip scrubs and my lip treatment. So I'm definitely happy with the way it turned out. And it's pretty, this drawer is the same, but it's basically just a little bit more organized. Now this, there's not much I can do here. This is pretty much how it has to be. Some of them won't stand up straight because the drawer is very short and narrow. So I'm leaving it like this, but I'm fine with it. It just organized a little bit more. And then in this bottom drawer here, it's basically the same. I just got rid of stuff and cleaned it up a little bit. So I'm pretty much happy with the way everything turned out. And now I can find everything. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my bathroom drawer organization video. I had so much fun doing it. You guys know your girl loves her some organization videos. I'll be listing everything I can find for you guys in the down bar. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit that little bell and give your girl a thumbs up. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you guys watching my video all the way through. Give your girl a bathroom sink emoji and let me know that you did. And also, what are some of your favorite organizing products for your bathroom in the down bar? Thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time, I'm always your girl on a ring. Bye.